got ready to record Walk Don't Run, uh, we started looking for musicians to uh, help us with it. I was working in a nightclub with uh, Buck Owen, and the Ventures came in, saw me playing. We were really impressed with his uh, musicianship and his abilities, and so we asked him to join us. In 1960, we released Walk Don't Run, and it became an instant hit. And one day, on the construction site, they were playing Walk Don't Run on the radio. And I turned to this guy next to me and I said, that's me and Bob playing there. And he looked at me and said, uh, can't be. What are you doing still working on this uh, construction job? But actually, we couldn't afford to quit yet. My music uh, has sort of evolved, I suppose, through starting off listening to the Ventures and going back to listen to them and jazz and R&B and Motown and, you know, everything, blues. And the thing that, that I try to uh, maintain is, is like a sense of melody all the time. And I think that's basically what the ventures are. If it's got a, a good melody, I mean, it's, it's worth a crack at it sort of thing. <laughs> 